Hello everyone, um, you're back with Kate at Candid Chronicles and I'm doing a fairy loot unboxing. Um, so I actually got my, um, I guess it would be July one, um, back in um, sort of middle of August because there's some problems with delivery and I got all that sorted. So actually the August one has literally come only two weeks later, uh, which I'm like, Oh my god, um, I didn't expect it so early. So uh, yeah, it was really, really great to see it come in the post. Um, so without further ado, let's get into unboxing. I haven't opened it yet, so we'll be doing that. All right, so let's open it up. Oh, I do love just the beautiful kind of unbox, you know, box and that. Um, so the August box is actually the Love Struck uh, theme. So it's sort of kind of, yeah, about love and all that summery love and stuff like that. Uh, it's funny that I'm actually recording this on the 1st of September. Um, that's a bit weird that I am, but um, yeah, just uh, really strange that um, I'm unboxing for August on the 1st of September and this is going to go live on Sunday and um, or probably just to let you know if there's any background noise it's because we actually have someone doing some work in our upstairs bedroom um, so if there's too much noise I'll, I might actually um, stop the recording and carry on unboxing in a bit when the noise goes away but yeah see how it goes right so yeah so I won't read the back um, I will not read the back I will leave it I will leave it and I will take out all the uh, packaging Ooh, love it right so the first one we've got is a stamp pin for um, I think it's like Caraval, which I need to read actually, and that's really really cute. Um, I you can see that. So it's the uh, yeah Caraval kind of circus. So yeah, that's really awesome because I love pins, and that is just really cool. It's Caraval stamp, so it's first class uh, stamp. It's really cool. I really like that. Awesome. So the next thing in the list is a little tray. So that could be quite cute to put like little things on and try and find a space for it somewhere. Don't know where, but uh, I think the, um, yeah, it says the literary tray. Um, it's a new design by Stella Bookish Art and has a quote from The Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas, which the um, quote is, it wasn't the end, it was a better beginning. Um, so yeah, I need to, again, another book I need to read. I need to read so many books, it's crazy. Anyway, so there's that, we've got a little tray. Um, oh, this looks really cute. So, it's a little pin banner. So actually, it's good to put all my pins on, actually, because I've got quite a few pins. And I usually put them on my um, on a little bag. Um, but actually, this could be quite useful because I do have quite a lot of pins. And I don't always like to put them on my bag. Sometimes they fall off. So actually, this will be really, really useful. So thanks to Fairy Loot for that. Uh, that's great, very useful. I do like useful things. I'm just going to roll it up. So I think in this box we have two books. Uh, first one, yep, here we go. It's called After Love. Um, I haven't read my, I think this looks like um, LGBTQ book, uh, which I haven't read that many of. Um, so yeah, it'd be good to see kind of what that's all about. I'll read the back. It's called Car Headlights. The last thing Ash hears is the snap of breaking glass as the windscreen hits her and shatters into a million pieces like stars. But she made it. She is still here. 
or is she? This New Year's Eve, Ash gets an invitation from the afterlife she can't decline to join a clan of fierce girl reapers who take the souls of the city's dead to await their fate. But Ash can't forget her first love, Poppy, and she will do anything to see her again, even if it means they only get a few more days together, dead or alive. Wow, that sounds really interesting, actually. Um, yeah, that looks really good, actually. Um, yeah, cool. Sounds really cool, actually. Right, so next up, ooh, it looks like it's a pen, pencil case. Um, that looks really, uh, yeah, it's really quite cool, actually. And I tend to find that I have trouble finding pencil cases from all my long pens. So uh, I think that's a pencil case, I'll double check. Um, yeah, pencil case, full stationery. It features a beautiful quote from A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. Um, so the um, quote is, the world is, will, is wild with untamed things. That's really cool. I love that. I love the colours as well, actually. Sort of actually gives me autumnal feels, if that makes sense, because it's sort of like darkish, sort of Halloween-y, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, that's my thinking anyway. So, yeah, I'll put that away. Um... Moving on, I'm moving on to the main book of um, Harry Wait. Uh, oh yes, actually, on the bottom, before I forget, because they've been sending tarot cards through, so, oh, these are beautiful, look, this is Two of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles, oh, that's really cool. Um, so, the tarot cards, um, this month's collectible tarot cards are the Ace and Two of Pentacles. They're designed by Morgana o Anagram and are inspired by Caraval by Stephanie Garber. So yeah, so these are inspired by Car Caraval. Again, a book I've got on my bookshelf but I haven't read yet. I feel like I maybe should read that this month. Um, yeah, maybe I should. See what that what my reading list looks like. It's yeah, quite full at the moment. So yeah, so that's really cute, I really like that. Right, on to the book. Now, what we got, what we got, what we got. Um, ooh. Right, so, we, it's, yeah, Love Struck, and this is like a lovely piece of artwork, I'm assuming, from the book. And it looked by a little letter by Lexi Ryan. Um, that's really cute. It said, Dear Fairy Luke Reader, Bree save me. I wasn't the prisoner of a wicked fairy king like Jazz. In fact, I was more like Bree, hardened, bitter, angry, overwhelmed by all the injustice in the world and struggling. So I turned to fantasy, to Bree and her shadows and her mighty protective rage. I needed a world where magic was real and hope mattered and I found it in fairy right by Bria's side. I won't read the rest of it. That's really cool. So I'm assuming this is sort of a book based in fairy. Um, right, so this is the book. It's called These Hollow Vows. Lovely um, printed pages. Um, I just love fairy loop books because they're just beautiful. I can see they've got the um, coloured pages there and then you've got the little suns and it's just lovely. And um, what's lovely is you can see, uh, I'll take it out, it's probably a bit easier if I do that. There we are. So you've got, um, yeah, it's hardback edition all the time. Got lovely artwork in the book sleeve, it just really, really is lovely. Um, and then what you also get is a um, beautiful foiled book. Um, it should be signed as well, if I remember rightly. Yeah, there we go, signed edition. Um, 
So yeah, very very exclusive signed edition. That's just lovely. And now I will read what the book is about because I'm intrigued. I've not heard of this book. Um, I do like anything kind of related to fairies. That it's just awesome. So I'm assuming that's the case. Based by the little bit in the little letter. Okay, go to the seaweed court. Find the Queen's secret portal to enter the most dangerous place in Fairy. Find my sister and rescue her from the power-hungry king. Child's play. Bree would do anything before making a deal with the Fae. Death is preferable to their vicious schemes. But when her sister is taken by the sadistic king of the Unseely court, there is nothing Bree wouldn't do to get her back, including making a deal with the king himself to steal three magical relics from the rival Seely court. Gaining unfettered access to the Seely court is easier said than done. Bree's only choice is to pose as a potential bride for Prince Roman, the Seely prince who's not quite as wicked as she once thought. Unwilling to let her heart distract her, she accepts help from a band of Unseely misfits with their own secret agenda. But as Bree spends time with their mysterious leader, Finn, she finds herself struggling to resist his seductive charm. Caught between two dangerous courts, Bree must decide who to trust with her loyalty and with her heart. Well, that just sounds amazing, actually. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to read that, actually. Um, I feel bad. I, I need to read some of the books that I've got from Fairy I just have so, much, so many books to read. It just overwhelming 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 but that sounds really good i might actually wait to read that um and read it in october just because um sort of october is sort of the mystical magical month um leading up to obviously halloween and i've got a couple of books that i've got in mind that i want to read for um october already and i feel like this is going to be one of those books um so yeah so i might hold off but absolutely i'll be reading it before the end of the year and uh thanks to fairy loot for an awesome box um so yeah some great books i've got that one which actually i think i'll read yeah like i said i'll read that in october and then i think i might read this one in september so as you can see this is um their second book so um it's still got the coloured pages, um, printed pages, but it, and I don't think it's signed. I'll double check. No, I don't. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, it is signed. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I think that's my September read, or one of them anyway. I've got quite a lot of book clubs I'm actually belong to so uh, and I even set up my own just primarily to read fantasy and science fiction and young adult uh, so actually if you guys are up for that I will put a link to my own book club in the description um, you can check out the Instagram which is YA and fantasy book club um, and yeah um, join along I mean a few of us like just meet up and talk books basically uh, we have a book to read every month and um yeah we'll definitely promote that books i mean book clubs just awesome excuse to read uh so yeah no great great box so yeah pencil case two books a little pin banner where i can put all my pins a little tray I'm not quite sure what to use that for yet but i will find some use for it i promise somewhere in either my office or my room. A uh, little pin badge, which was really cute. Um, not sure where that's gone actually, because it was supposed to be in there. And, oh yes, here we go. I've got the tarot cards and, as I said, the little pin badge, which I, oh, I love pin badges so much, so much. So yeah, great box, Fairy Loot, honestly. I have so much on my desk now that it's kind of, overflowing but um yeah really really cool thank you very late right i'll be seeing you guys soon and tune in every sunday for my 
weekly videos. I'm going to try and be better this month, um, posting every Sunday. So uh, yeah, tune in. And uh, everyone have a good rest of the week and see you soon. Thanks. Bye.